So back in early May, uh, the internet was graced with this absolute masterpiece of a tweet and of a meme in general here. Um, Black Hammer from Black Hammer Times, the Twitter account. Now, Black Hammer Times is a um, is a, a black supremacist Nazi group. They're actual black Nazis. I'm not kidding. Um, they fucking hate Anne Frank for, for starters. We, we could go into black. I've done videos on Black Hammer. They are... They hate white people, they're Nazis, and they hate Jews as well. Uh, pretty fucking crazy, right? <clears throat> so I tweeted this out back in May. Thanks to all of you, Black Hammer has successfully liberated 200 acres of land to build our city. For colonized people only, that's right, no white people allowed. We are located high up in the mountains, 10,000 feet in the air with rich soil. We have one lake and three rivers on the land. So, you know, their plan was to go out there and they were going to build a city out in the middle of the mountains of Colorado, their own black ethno state, uh, not even half a square mile. That's pretty funny. Regardless, they were going to build themselves like a little a little ethno state, right? A little, little black ethno state, no white people allowed. Um, you were actually able to p pay reparations to them if you're white. You were able to pay like, what was it, $600 a month or something uh, to... I guess, like, get rid of the sin of whiteness. It was hysterical, right? But that's something we're talking about today. Actually, before we get to the news and, and the update on what happened, <clears throat> this is from Black Hammer's website. This is unironically a piece of promotional material they use to advertise Hammer City, their black ethno state they want to make. They actually use this. The thing that makes this even more scummy and stupid is that Chadwick Boseman died, like, last year. Also, the entire... The entire point of, um... Of, of Black Panther, like, the story of Black Panther was that Wakanda was basically an ethnostate, and... The main character, T'Challa, in the end, learned that was bad and that th that Wakanda needed to use its resources to help the world and allow people in and everything and that them being super isolationist and basically an ethnostate was a bad thing. So pretty funny at the entire point of the movie went over their heads. Um, however, I want to <clears throat> I want to hit you guys with this update. The San Miguel County Sheriff. Deputies responded Monday evening to a trespass report on a property south of Norwood where a group of 8 to 12 people from the Black Hammer organization were camping prior to a property purchase that ultimately did not occur. When deputies arrived, they advised the group of the trespass and they left the area without incident. Deputies found some individuals were legally armed and posing no threat to public safety. There have been no reports the group um, has since been seen in the area. So, they didn't actually buy the property. They were trespassing the whole time. They were trespassing on private property. The whole time. They scammed all the people who donated. They didn't actually they didn't actually buy the land. They said multiple times that they bought the land. They had successfully liberated the 200 acres. They were trespassing the whole time. And they got fucking moved off the land by the cops. Because they were trespassing. Also, <clears throat> here's a video from before they got kicked off the land uh, from Ghazi Kodzo, uh, who's a Nazi, on, uh, on, on uh, uh, Instagram here. This time-lapse vid of them moving one wooden board around pretty much tells you why Hammer City is never going to get built on top of all the other obvious reasons. So yeah, here's a pretty good idea of like what happens when you've got terminally online lefties um, who want to make their own black ethno state a bunch of like teenagers and like 20 somethings that try to build a city out in the middle of the mountains um here is a time lapse of them trying to lift a board This is astounding. 
<clears throat> so apparently they're trying to build a bridge. <laughs> they're trying to build a bridge. Now, you'll know that um, if you're trying to build a bridge, you don't want to do it like this. You want to get a longer thing of wood and build it from like here to here, ideally, and not inside the riverbank. You know? Pretty fucking hilarious. But yeah, uh, Black Hammer is a scam. Uh, they're, they're just scamming people. That's literally it. They're building it over a wash. Yeah. Here, let me, uh, let me go. So they never even bought the land. They were scamming people all the time. But not only that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got a Nazi in Twitch chat. Let me... Boop. All right. Let's go over this hysterical... This hysterical piece of, of, of mimetry, okay? Are you ready for this? This is Black Hammer's reparations page. First, you have the Shea level, $40. Sign up for a single session of the boot camp and get a view of the experience and work it takes in order to dis disunite with your people's worldwide acts of genocide and terror. Then the Sankara level, which is $99 minimum, a four-week boot camp, and get halfway there, halfway to falling under the leadership of colonized people. Look at that. Look at this shit. Mao level, $199 minimum. Sign up for the entire eight-week boot camp and get fully certified as someone who is united under colonized leadership. By completing this level, you'll get the chance to provide your skills to the organization and be an active recruiter to make sure that other people are continuing to pay reparations and support the masses of poor and working-class colonized people. Look at that. Look at that. So this has always been a scam. It always has been. They were trespassing on the land, and they never actually bought it after lying to everybody, including their own members and donators, most likely, if they had bought the land. And they ended up getting kicked off of it. And they're still doing their thing. They'll st they're still racking up the money and everything. They're still pulling it in. So, with that said... I don't think Black Hammer should be acknowledged for any other reason than to make fun of it at this point. I think it's about as far as we should go with it, if I'm being honest. It's a fucking joke. Look at this. It's a joke. And the reason why I wanted to make this video, even though I've covered Ghazi, I've covered Black Hammer in the past before, once or twice. The reason why I want to make this video is to warn people, if you've heard of Black Hammer and you think that their motivation is cool or whatever, and you're like, oh, I want to... I want to pay reparations. I want to not be, um, I want, I, I want to not be a, a fucking white person anymore. Don't donate to these people. They're literally just stealing your money. They're lit they're just stealing your money. That's all it is. What is this? Camp reminds me of this picture. <laughs> We've already made this joke. We made this joke before. Yes, this is the funniest image on the internet. I know. I fucking love this image. This might be my, my favorite thing the internet has ever created. But we already made that joke. Last time we covered Black Hammer, okay? We already made the joke last time we covered Black Hammer. But I do, in fact, love this image. It is, it is, it is just a masterpiece. This image is a fucking masterpiece. As a matter of fact, I'm going to post it on Twitter. I'm posting it on Twitter right now. No context, just the image. No context, just the image. That's it. There we go. This is what MLK really died for. All right, anyway. With all that said, um, Black Hammer is a joke. Uh, it should be talked about only for the means of making fun of it. And the people that take part in it. Uh, this It is absolutely pathetic that these people have been scamming random lefty progressive people in order to like siphon money out them out of them. But like this this kind of stuff, we got to we got to talk about this kind of shit. We got to make fun of it. Xander Hall will be trending tonight. I know I'll be trending tonight. I know 
I'll be, be getting called a white boy by uh, by Black Hammer stands tonight. I know I will, but regardless, um, <laughs> regardless, it's worth talking about. Anyway, just a short little segment. Not too much to talk about with it. I just wanted to update you all uh, on what was going on. Turns out Black Hammer was a scam. Hammer City, it was a scam. So, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my fan Discord. The link's in the description. And of course, if you want to support me financially and you can afford to do so and you've got extra money for it, but you don't know what to do with it, you can always support me financially by donating or subscribing to my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, super chatting or hitting the join button to become a channel member on YouTube, or subbing or prime subbing on Twitch, or even pledging me on Patreon if you want. All of it's appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.